Tell us, okay. tell us your story. The whole story, yeah. The whole story. Oh god. Je peux te taquer via via tech. I'm Dutch. I decided to, just, to, to stay in June, so upcoming June it will be like exactly two years. Uh, no, it's not a coincidence, it was a very long story now. So, um, just a short version. In, um, like three sentences. Three sentences. Love, love, love. <laughs> love is in the air. <laughs> well, they basically answered it for me, you know, so there you go. <laughs> We were, together, we were together at a bar and... <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know. Eyes and nets, sparks. Well, Lynn, what is your story? Um, I came to crack uh, mainly because of my interest in Polish literature. And um, I actually mainly write. Um, I also do music from time to time, such as with a band like this, with friends. My background is mainly in classical music and some klezmer as well. Mm -hmm. So when I was living in the States, I was mainly involved with classical music ensembles and a klezmer band. Może najpierw e, dlaczego Polska? Z powodu mojej pasji e, do literatury polskiej. Jednocześnie zakochałam się z kimś, który ma wspólną pasję i też chcieliśmy uciec z naszego nudnego kraju, czyli Kanada. I wybraliśmy właśnie Kraków w Polsce, ponieważ czytaliśmy o różnych miastach w Polsce. W Polsce. Czytaliśmy bardzo ciekawe rzeczy o Krakowie. Czy to miałe miasto, które ma bardzo żywe kulturalne życie i, i co roku jest coś takiego jak Juvenalia, kiedy prezydent miasta podaje klucz do miasta studentom. I jak czytałam, to myślałam, o to całkiem ciekawe miasto. No. I poza tym no, poznałam dużo ciekawych ludzi tutaj, zostałam dużo, dużo dłużej niż myślałam na początku. No, moja historia nie będzie taka barwna, ja po prostu upiłem się, wsiadłem do złego pociągu, wylądowałem tutaj i nie miałem pieniędzy na powrót, dlatego tak już zostałem. Bardzo ładna historia. Piękna historia. Three years ago, uh, my sister was visiting and my sister plays banjo. And she knows a lot of old cowboy songs and folk songs. And so we were, we were just playing all the time. She was here for a couple months. We were playing together at home at my, at my place. And then some guys dropped by that I know, an American guy, an English guy. And they knew some of the songs that we were playing. So they were singing along. And then so we had this idea to do a cowboy concert because one of them found out that there's um, a cowboy saloon in Demniki. It's called Luciano's Saloon. And so we just had this really uh, informal thing where I, you know, just spread the word through email and telephone calling friends. We got a crowd of about 30 people. We all went into this little room and it was just really, like no amplification. We just sat around in a circle and played these songs. And then uh, my friends left after that. So it was like a one-time thing. And it was so much fun. Since that concert, three years ago, I've had this idea of a cowboy band. And then, um, Last autumn, I, I contacted Teddy saying, do you want to do a cowboy band with me? Actually, this is my culture. Like, I was born in Canada, but two American parents, all my family's in the States. I grew up listening to my mom singing a lot of these tunes. I can sort of um, do it in, in an authentic way. I would never dream of playing folk music of another culture. So, and it's something that he has in his soul. I don't know. When I met him, I thought he was American because of the way he sings and... The way he speaks English, hey man, hey man, I want to do this. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to wear a hat because he's got a cool one. And, I got a cool uh, one. Yeah. Yeah. He has a nice hat too. Yeah, Zagraliśmy kiedyś na open micu w Kładka Cafe i mieliśmy debiutancki koncert w Cafe Szafę. We meet once a week, every Sunday afternoon, and um, our rehearsals are quite uh, fun. They're almost like a party. Yeah, it's just about fun. But, but it's also for us about creating beautiful music too. It's not just about fun. So we do spend time on the arrangements. You know, we really think about a song for a while and think about how, you know, um, just how to make the song interesting. So and we sit around our table at our place and play these tunes and... We share ideas, yeah? We yeah, share. so when we think that part should be different or we should do that more there, etc., then we just work it out there and that's what we do. Uh, 
Well, I think one of the best bands these days from uh, Krakow are the Silver Owls. <laughs> Yeah, I heard about them. <laughs> they're, they're, not, no, they're doing a good they're job. They're fun, they really yeah. let loose. <laughs> I know Vladimirska is a very good band. Check yeah, them yeah, out. Yeah, I've heard about Vladimirska. Teddy Jr. is pretty cool too. Teddy, oh, no, wow, no, 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 te- no. wow, no. Inside. You shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're doing a really cool thing because actually my impression of the Krakow music scene is that there are these like groups, these enclaves of bands and they're all friends. So I can say that I, I know a lot of Krakow bands, but I realize it's kind of just this one hermetic group. Well, you know, I heard about Cinnamon and and uh, Straight Jack Black Cat or whatever it's Straight Black. <laughs> <laughs> Straight Jack, that's what they're called, yeah. Yeah, and Camera Cat and all these other ones that really I had never heard of before. So that was, it's, it's. I think you're doing a really good thing. I think there are a few good ones, but what really bothers me about Crocodile Fans so far is uh, so many of them are so serious. Like, uh, they just take themselves too seriously, they perform seriously, their songs are heavy and dark and serious. I mean, it's good to have both, to have some bands for the sort of heavier, gloomier people who just want to go to the show and just nod their head. <laughs> but, um, but like, I, there are very few bands here really that play in a, a playful way, light way. Mm-hmm. So I, that's what I miss here. Mm-hmm.